Hi, I'm Davide Bianchi and I'm here to talk about Kubegrid, a Kubernetes operator with the aim to increase the cloud sustainability, reducing the carbon footprint. First of all, a presentation of myself. I'm Davide Bianchi, a senior technical leader working at MIA platform. All we do online, from sending email to chat with someone other, run on a server somewhere. So also the code we write once released on a server, also in cloud, consumes some energy and produces carbon. But how much carbon does a pod produce? If we take a cluster of four nodes in an hyperscale using all green energy, we can make some approximation and uh, from the data taken from the site goclimate.com, we have that the cloud server using all green electricity produces 160 kilos of carbon each year. So if we approximate that each node of this cluster is a physical server, we have that this cluster produces 640 kilos of carbon each year. And this number is quite similar to the emission of a new six car that does 15,000 kilometers in one year. Okay, but if this cluster, each node, for example, is of, of two core, we have so a, a cluster of eight core, and we can see that in minimum there is more or less 60, 60 pods in this cluster. So if we do the math, we have that each pod produces 11 kilos of carbon equivalent each year. Okay, but how can we reduce the number of pods? With Kubegreen. The basic idea behind Kubegreen is that we work in a project and we have a production environment and some non-production environment. The non-production environment in the, the most of the cases um, for more than 75% of the hours on a week are running without anyone which use uh, them. So each uh, runtime environment is uh, in Kubernetes a space and each namespace uh, contains some pods which use some CPU and some memory also in idle and request some CPU and some memory. So allocate inside the nodes some resource. Okay, the idea is to turn off, to stop all the pods and use the pods in the uh, development environments. Okay, we can make, uh, we can do this with the Kubergreen. Kubergreen is uh, the operator is available on GitHub and uh, it's possible to, to try it by your own. Okay, but what is the architecture of a Kubernetes operator? Um, when the user change a custom resource defined in the cluster with a custom resource definition, Kubernetes trigger a change event to the controller, which modify the current state of Kubernetes to align to the desired state. Okay, if, if we put this architecture inside the Kubernetes, we have that the, the custom resource is called the sleep info. The controller is Kubegreen, uh, which modify the current state of deployment and the cron job, which are at the moment the supported re, uh, Kubernetes resources, but we are planning to, uh, to support also other resources uh, inside Kubegreen. Okay. Let's now see some uh, real cases. This chart is uh, in of a cluster with uh, 15 new spaces and uh, Kubergreen was uh, installed in three of them. We can see um, that after the introduction of uh, Kubergreen, the usage of the memory during the night and the weekend uh, is reduced of around uh, uh, 10 gigabyte and also the request, the location of the memory inside this cluster is reduced of about 10 gigabyte. 
we can see the, the spike of usage during the day and the differences during the night and during the, the weekend. And we can see a similar chart also for the CPU resource. And we can see that the use of CPU is um, different of only half core, and but the request of are about four core of difference. Um, we have uh, enabled uh, kubegreen in this cluster so after some uh, time. And uh, this cluster is uh, 75 uh, namespaces in total, and kubegreen was enabled in 48 of these namespaces. And we have that the number of pods in this cluster during the night and the weekends is reduced by 600 pods with a decrease of the usage of memory of 33 GB and a decrease of 3.5 core of CPU. And also a decrease in the allocation inside the cluster of resources of 45 GB of memory and 25 core of CPU. So there is a really interesting number. But how much reduction of carbon emits, uh, produced by this cluster? Uh, we can use a tool inside the kubegreen.dev website. We can put here, here the 11 the number of CPU uh, of carbon the pod produces in one year. We can uh, set the other number we previously see, and we can uh, see that the difference each week of the produced carbon is reduced is seventy three. So each week is um, there a production of seventy three. Um, is saved 73 kilos of carbon from the emission. Okay. And we can see also the nodes in this chart. We have enabled um, the cluster horizontal autoscaler. And we can see that the number of cluster of this class of the nodes in this cluster is uh, passes from 12 to 8 uh, nodes. So there is a reduction in carbon, but in carbon yeah, produced, but, but also a reduction in the costs of this cluster. And we can see this also from our adopters. For example, Mia Platform has a save of more than 30% of resources, but there are also other cases, for example, Step for Business a reduction of a saving of uh, more than 30% of the costs and the quantum with a very interesting use case of, uh, of um, around 10,000 pods on three different cluster uh, stopped outside the business hour, which allowed uh, them to save 40% of the AWS monthly bill. So a really interesting use case of our adopters. We uh, for sure, have also other adopters uh, which are not unlisted on uh, on the site. So uh, we are uh, listing in the future. Okay, let's now see a live demo of Kubegreen. I have uh, here in local um, a kind uh, Kubernetes kind cluster with uh, Kubegreen installed and uh, an space, for example, this next this. Uh, in this space is called the Sleep Me and uh, has a pod called a deployment called Donut Sleep, which we have not, uh, we do not sleep. And uh, also a deployment uh, with one replica and uh, one another deployment with four replica. Let's now configure the, um, uh, the Sleep Info resource. Uh, we can say that we sleep at uh, 1911 and restart at 1912 and apply the resource. Okay, we can now see if we get um, some po the pods. 
and the, the pods are asleep. So uh, are stopped are um, the pods, but what stop the pods means uh, means that the, the number of replicas of deployment are set to zero. And um, okay, this uh, is happening one minute before uh, the hour because uh, there is a clock skew of around one minute. And uh, okay, so we can see um, in detail the sleep info, the custom resource defined by Kubegreen, and we can say that we can see that. Um, it's possible to define the weekdays from Monday to Friday, for example, is a, a classical use case. And here it's possible to set uh, from, from one to, from Monday to um, Sunday. So uh, from one to seven, I think. Um, sleep uh, hat, uh, it's possible to define uh, the hour to turn off the pods and the when it's possible to wake up to re-wake up the pod so to restart the pods to the previous configuration so we can see in the future that um, the, the deployment with four replicas returns with four replicas and it's possible to set up also to suspend the current job and it's possible to exclude the some ref. So in this case, we exclude from the um, from Kubi Green the Donut Sleep deployment, but it's possible also to exclude with uh, using some labels, for example. Okay, the hour is passed and we can see that if we uh, get the pods, the, um, the new space is restored to the previous state. Okay, this is very interesting for, because, for example, in uh, um, it, it's possible to set up uh, this uh, sleep info to stop the pods uh, after the working hour and restart before the start of the working uh, working uh, day. So our developer, for example, cannot uh, see the difference in the in the namespace, but from the platform governance point of view is a very interesting use case because uh, it's possible to reduce uh, the cost and of the cluster in an easy, really easy way. Okay, so let's now return to the to the presentation and uh, as I said before Kube Green is uh, is open source it's possible to contribute it's possible to open some issue or pull request if you have some idea of to other uh, to, to add some feature or to fix some uh, feature at the moment or discuss uh, uh, some ideas with with me or the, with the, the contributor to increase to evolve and improve uh, the the project. So I hope uh, you enjoy the talk and uh, you, do you think that Kubernetes is, is useful? And uh, thank you for the, your attention. Bye.